turning off the AC so you guys can hear me. Usually when the AC is on, you can hear it in the background. Hi guys, it's currently around like almost 10 a.m. Sorry I haven't been like vlogging or uploading any videos recently and that's because I've just been like really freaking super busy. I can't keep track of my days right now just because it's flying by so fast. If I do vlog, it's like in the vertical format so I could do a short form video for like TikTok or YouTube shorts because I don't have a lot of time to edit videos or anything like that. But today, I, I'm gonna dedicate the entire day to vlogging for YouTube, so horizontally. Today, I think it's gonna be a fun day because we're gonna go out into the city. It's gonna be a rest day for us. I, I only have one meeting scheduled, so I have to take that meeting at a cafe in the city. Let's get ready together. I got my nails done the last time we were in the city. Ah! Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. I broke this nail yesterday. So I'm gonna go get this fixed today. Let's get ready together. Oh, I'm so sore. Okay, I thought I'd do a very quick get ready with me. Uh, this is kind of like my daily makeup when I am going out into the city, which is really not frequent. First step is always going to be sunscreen. Even when I'm just home here, I do put on sunscreen because this house is like all windows, especially the first floor. So you got to protect thy skin, man. Several people have been commenting on like one of my shorts saying I have very good skin, clean skin. It's an illusion. I do not have amazing skin in fact right now i'm actually breaking out like crazy but it's not like one of those like big cystic acne breakouts it's like these micro dots or micro bumps that i literally have them all all over my face to be honest it's just you can't really see it because they're so micro i actually came across this foundation just like serendipitously it's a travel size that's why i got it but the coverage is actually really really good I have a lot of redness in my skin right now too. I self-diagnosed myself as having rosacea. This is just like a white concealer to brighten up my concealer. For me, I always thought like since I don't have the technical abilities of like a makeup artist, like whatever makeup eyebrow pencil that I use, like it doesn't matter, right? But no. It, it does really change the game, I would say. This is a Holika Holika eyebrow pencil that I've been using. It's maybe like $4, I would say. This one is a bit more. I see why people buy like $20, $25 eyebrow pencils. It really does make a difference. Just try it once and I don't think you can go back. I actually don't set my face with powder recently because because it is hot, I just want like a youthful glowy look. So I just don't powder my face. I am still going to put on blush i guess in that sense i am setting my face with a little bit of blush i'm gonna go for this one it's a very youthful peachy pinkish vibe i don't know i'm going for a very youthful look these days i want to i don't know why maybe it's because my birthday's coming up meaning i'm aging <laughs> meaning I'm, i want to try looking youthful i'm just gonna put it on my nose too because that's what the young girls do Very thin eyeliner. And I'm talking super, super thin, like. This is the Chung Semu. Wow, a lot of my products are Chung Semu today. The shading palette. This one's like an orangey color. I'm blending. How do I look? I do need to head on out now in 10 minutes. We are going to eat luck, luck. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's hope it tastes good. I know. If it doesn't, I'm gonna oh. cry. So, because last time's lunch, last time's lunch was so bad. Thank you. Alright, so I'm just gonna eat. 
All right, guys, let me just give you guys some background information. My student and I live nowhere close to the city. We actually live around an hour or like an hour 15 away from the city. So uh, we don't go to Tanang City often. So when we do go out, we want to treasure the moment and eat really good food. You know what I mean? But the thing about Tanang City is that it's a quite touristy destination, especially to Koreans. So there's a handful of restaurants where it's highly rated on like Google Maps and stuff like that. But it's highly rated because foreigners are leaving the high ratings. You know what I mean? But the thing is, a lot of the tourists that are here in Tanang City are actually Koreans. And the thing about Koreans is that they do not like cilantro. So a lot of the dishes that's served, it, it's missing cilantro, but it's also kind of like modified to fit the Korean palate. You know what I mean? Whereas I want the legitimate Vietnamese cuisine experience. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's why I was talking about the previous lunch that we had it was very like mid because number one the restaurant was filled with koreans and definitely the cuisines that we ordered it was missing that oomph that i was like expecting i felt like the dishes we ordered would be something i would find in seoul like a at, at a vietnamese restaurant in seoul now did i enjoy the food here absolutely i honestly think like the vegetables are so fresh the fresh rolls were so good but would i come here again i don't think so and the reason being is because this place was actually pretty pricey the thing is when you do the vietnamese dong conversion to usd dollars yes it's on the cheaper side if you're used to what you're paying in america but for locals this restaurant is pricey okay and yeah for the money that you're paying for this food i don't think i would come here again because you can still find amazing cuisine for far cheaper value it's still koa on our way to a cafe there's a big ass cafe i found so we're heading there Alrighty, like I said earlier in my video, I actually did have one meeting scheduled. Uh, it was from 2 to 3 p.m. So I went to this cafe to take the meeting. I completely forgot to vlog, but I ordered a Vietnamese iced coffee and I just took my meeting from 2 to 3 p.m. And once I was done, we headed on over to get my nails done or like the nail that I broke. I know. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> what do you call your fans? You know when you're so obsessed with someone, your heart aches. When I see King George or Ollie Behrman or Charles Leclerc, my heart physically hurts. My heart shakes. It's like I'm so single. Well, thankfully, both of us will never clash at who's, who we're interested in. Because unlike her, I'm not obsessed with DILFs. I roasted my 17-year-old student's ideal type because she kept giving stereotypical boy examples and she roasted me back, saying I only find old men attractive. And I vehemently disagreed, but... Pedro Pascal? Oh, yeah! Fuck! <laughs> 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 all right so fun fact i actually got my nail replacement for free to be honest i was like what no let me pay you or at the very least leave a tip but she wouldn't even let me leave a tip due to the language barriers i couldn't really understand why she was giving me a free nail service but i have two assumptions number one she felt bad because she actually painted my nail color the wrong green in the beginning so she had to add on additional layers of the right color green so i actually have like six layers of polish on my thumb that or number two uh the first time i came a week ago i actually left like a 35 percent tip so she might have just been thankful for that i don't know you and your love for <laughs> these are my favorites there's a freaking sesame pepero Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is that we actually live in a very remote area where there isn't a grocery store. So when we do come out into the city, we make sure we stock up on ingredients and food. We actually cook a lot at home. You would think that because I'm like traveling to Vietnam or I'm in Vietnam, we would eat out most of our meals, but that's absolutely not the case. Also, because like I said, we do live in a remote area. There's not a lot of like food places to eat nearby us. So yeah, I actually do cook more than I eat out. And that's why I said uh, whenever we do go out to eat, I want each moment Moment, each experience to be good because like I don't get to eat out often I've definitely been going ham on fruits here in Vietnam because they're so cheap compared to the prices of fruit in Korea so dragon fruit mango steam mangoes oh my god oh so freaking good I think Italian, you know? <laughs> 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 
All right, the last stop that we have in our itinerary is the night market. It's been around like 10 days since I've been in Vietnam, and this is my first time going to the night market. By the way, the sunsets in Ta Nang are so freaking gorgeous. All right, even though I'm very excited for street food, I am kind of worried because a lot of my Vietnamese friends have warned me that street food in Vietnam can be dangerous. Yeah, sugar cane. Sugar cane is the turn taste. Just one. Yeah, one. Okay. Thank you. That's huge. I know that's what I was gonna just say. I was just gonna say that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Sweet kind of tastes like lemon. Okay, it's refreshing. So, if it came with a wet tissue, yes. A hundred thousand? If it was a wet tissue, plus whatever they're trying to sell me. So if they're trying to sell me pho, <laughs> if, they, if it came with a wet tissue, I will buy the 100k pho. <laughs> it actually worked. I Like my blotting kind of went down. My my hands are, my, yeah, my hands are so dirty. BRB, gonna buy some water. Where's the, where's the, where's the water? The sweat. Mm. Oh, yes. That's what you call delicious. Okay. Really? It's good though. So Madame Lan is a restaurant in Tarang City and it's where I tried Ban Seo for the first time ever and it was so freaking good. So I think I developed a biasness towards Madame Lan's Ban Seo. So whatever Ban Seo I try throughout the city, I always think Madame Lan's is better. <laughs> Now one thing for sure is that the night market was a total vibe. The fact that you're just like sitting in this like little table but also people watching at the same time while enjoying good food. Definitely 100% recommend to have this experience. Now I did see this vendor serving Boom Bo Hoi, so I was like yo we gotta get it but we were feeling a little bit full so we decided to walk around a bit and digest before eating another meal. But as we're touring the stalls we realized that there wasn't anything we really wanted to buy so we decided to go back to the food stalls and get our Boom Bo Hoi. Oh, it's kind of less, not as red as I thought it would be. Usually, it's more red than that. It smells a little tangy. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to smell like this because I've never tried it. Because the thing is, since the weather is so hot, food does spoil fast. So if something is out like that, it should spoil a lot faster since the weather is hot. Now, I'm 28 years old, so I've been cooking for myself for a very long time. And I know what rotten meat smells like. There is a very like pungent smell to it. And the thing is, ever since I was young, my mom did tell me I had a keen sense of smell. So I can really pinpoint out when things go bad. Anyways, I called it. I feel, I feel like something's off. We'll know tomorrow. All right, we decided to play it safe and pass. Guys, let's see, what time is it? It's 12.06, meaning it's been four hours since i taken a sip of that bumbo hue. <laughs> My stomach is hurting. Ow! Really? Or is it just all in your head? No, my stomach is, it feels like it's like twisting right now. Oh. oh. I feel like since I ate so little, at the very most, it will just be like diarrhea. <laughs> TMI. No, but when I got actual food poisoning, I threw up everything for like two, three consecutive days. Okay, I swear to God, I'm not wearing a robe to be like pretentious asshole. I'm wearing it because I'm too lazy to wear clothes right now. You know what I mean? You know, when you don't want to wear clothes after the shower, it's 
currently 1.50 a.m. Uh, after unloading the groceries, my student and I just hmm, sat down on the couch and talked for like three hours straight. Anyways, right now, I actually have a meeting right now in four minutes. It wasn't scheduled, it wasn't supposed to be right now, but one of my students hit me up asking for a meeting and I was like, why not just do it right now? I'm wide awake. So yeah, uh, this student is PST. So meeting, it's like his morning right now, or now almost noon. We're gonna have a meeting, it's gonna be about college essays. Maybe I'll record parts of it if you guys are interested in learning, knowing what I do for work. Once again, I don't know if you remember what I said a couple of days ago, but in the personal statement, you should be amplifying a characteristic or personality trait or an identity that you have. So the thing is right now, the emphasis on your current essay is about But if you take a step back, your identity or your personality trait, let's, I think it's more so personality trait, is Hokishin. For example, who knows? The reason you started playing with fire was because you were fucking curious about the dynamics of fire, what it can do, right? 